Hi YouTube, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. It's been a minute since I've done a video. Um, today I want to talk about um, being that quiet black person. And I've seen this topic come up online before. And you'll find that on my channel, I'll bring up topics that's, um, you know, been discussed, you know, over the years, you know, but now that we have like the YouTube channel and, um, you know, I can bring up things on my platform that I wasn't, that I've always talked about maybe on forums, but now, you know, I'll just, you know, when I think about it, I'll, you know, use it as a discussion on my channel. Um, so today I'm going to talk about being that quiet black person. And I have found that some black people have said that they've had issues with being that quiet person, particularly at work amongst white people. Um, in my particular case, it's been the opposite. Um, I grew up in a predominantly white community. And for the most part, um, white people will typically leave you alone for the most part. Um, they'll mind their own business or what have you. But for some reason, when you are a quiet black person in a predominantly um, black, you know, maybe work environment or uh, going to school, for some reason, it's a different situation. Um, I find that with our community, you know, we tend to be a very affable, jovial, outgoing kind of a race with one another, which is, to me, is beautiful. But what happens when you're kind of that wallflower, um, shy, and that might, might seem a little bit ironic because I'm doing like a, a video that's, you know, that hundreds, maybe thousands of people may watch. But if you notice, I'm the only one in my little office here. You know, I'm not in front of a crowd talking. You know, I'm just getting my thoughts out um, behind a, you know, a camera by myself, you know, and I have found, particularly when I was a girl in school, um, being kind of quiet and shy, um, you know, it gets you labeled, you know, you're stuck up, you think you're better, and it never really dawns on people that, you know, perhaps that person is shy, and I know in my case, it kind of takes me a minute to warm up to people. If I don't really know you, I, I observe a little bit. And if I feel that the vibe is off and I can just tell you and I are not going to bond in some way, I'm not going to be rude to you. I'm going to respect you, but I don't have to be your friend. And same thing with me. When I encounter a quiet person, I tend to step back, let that person determine whether or not they want to open up to me or not. And if they do, great. And if we find, okay, now, you know, it's better that you just go on about your business. And if they don't, that's fine. You know, everybody is not meant to open up to you and be your friend. Now, um, in my work environment right now, it's um, predominantly black. And, and again, I find, like I said, that, you know, people, you know, they kind of, they connect on a level that, um, I don't want to say it's foreign to me. Again, if I don't connect with you, it's not a matter of, thinking I'm better or whatever. It's just a matter of, you believe it or not, I am shy. Um, I do like to observe things around me before I open up. You know, you can't really open up to everybody because everybody is not your friend. Everybody that smiles in your face is not your friend or has your best interests. So going back to the gist of this video, being that quiet black person, for some reason, it makes people uncomfortable. You know, I remember someone saying something about still waters run deep. Or like one of my aunts told me, she had a man on her job many, many, many years ago tell her he wanted to know what made her tick. 
And I think that with people, and and we're all guilty of it, we have to put somebody in a box. We have to know, we have to like try to figure people out. But unlike some people, you know, some people just know how to just mind their own business and going about their business. And I'm just going to be blunt. With our community, we like to be, in a sense, passive aggressive, you know, especially like, let's say there's like a clique of women. Typically, it's women. I can't speak from a man's point of view, but typically it's women. They'll get with their girls and they will stand around and talk loud enough for you to hear what they're saying. Don't act like I'm the only person that notices that because we do that. Women are petty like that. And you might hear somebody say like, you know, instead of them trying to like gain an understanding of why you're quiet, why you're kind of withdrawn, it's they attack something about you or me, you know. I mean, it's happened to all of us, I'm sure, on different and varying levels. But typically, they have to say something um, about you physically or make an assumption about you. Like, I don't know what she, who she thinks she is, but she ain't all that. What she need to do is something about her clothes or her this or her that. And you're like, I've never even done anything to you. You know, and for me, I can only speak for myself. For me, it puts me on a defensive because I figure, oh, okay, so you, you're making an assumption about me because I haven't opened up to you. So that's really going to make me kind of hold you at arm's length because, you know, for me, some people might be able to go into that and, you know, strike up a friendship or do like, you know, that fake friendship that we see on the Housewives, the Real Housewives, Atlanta, Beverly Hills, whichever show. Like, those women are not real friends, you know. If I'm not close to you, I'm not going to try to bond with you and I really don't know you. So that's my topic for today, being that quiet black person. So let me know if you've been in a situation where you're kind of quiet, uh, withdrawn, um, you keep to yourself, and people, for whatever their reasons are, uh, assault you. Not assault you, but confront you in some form, you know, whether it be passive aggressive or they actually liter literally get in your face about something, you know, because you're like, you know, you choose to be just kind of laid back and mind your own business. And I've often said within our community, you can't be that quiet black person because for some reason we as a race, we don't always understand how to deal with the person that's kind of quiet and observing things around them. Well, my time is about to run out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.